everybody, I'm Team Tension at Fem Live and I just decided to do my mixing today. Let's go. Okay, how can you hear me? Okay, I guess well. <laughs> I don't hear me, but alright, oh well, oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well, oh well, oh well. Oh well, oh well. Hmm. Let's have a look at the game between two bots. Press Alt plus F4 against bot, uh, bot C0. Okay, this will end up in a draw. Well, play against Ulysses Al Musafis. This was pain. Alright, good luck. Uh, I'll take this. Okay, this. Bishop g4. He might go for queen b3, but he doesn't go at least now. Right, my idea is bishop d6, try to trade this bishop away. Alright, bishop h5. Okay. Oh, I'm not sure about it. Even though my bishop is on g6, which is probably not the best square for the bishop, at the moment he's. Um, He's, 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 yeah, he, if he castles the short side, can be pretty risky. So, I'm let's say I'm not really sure if that's the thing you want to do. I mean, maybe it will be good, who knows, but I'm not sure if it will be good or no. We'll see later on. Alright, this takes... Now my g4 is this red, and if he takes, then rook h1. Ooh, free pawn if I don't blunder your queen. So it seems like a free pawn. <laughs> With later I blunder a queen and it's a pawn for a queen, I guess. <laughs> I hope it won't happen though. We'll see. But so far I guess yeah he played too aggressive and he may yeah, I guess he just um let's say didn't really see this move. Knight to g4 I mean, now he has some queen b3 idea. I mean, maybe it's not good, but okay. Um, uh -huh. What is here? I guess I can go for bishop d6. If bishop d6, queen d6, pawn side castle, I'll take the bishop probably. Or maybe knight f6. I don't know. Okay. Okay, he takes. I'll take back. Mm -hmm. Knight f6. Mm -hmm. Now we t5, I guess, is how he wants to play. I'm not sure if he'll go for it though, but at least I would try to create some counter play with knight e5 and this stuff. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Maybe three. He doesn't try it yet. I'll give a check. If queen is three, I'll be more than happy to take an and b6. Uh, but here I'm more than happy still than... Yeah, I'm more than happy to trade queens still. Because, I mean, now um, queens are gone. And with these queens, I think possible B counterplay from my opening is gone also. Now I'll just do longside castle. Now H3 pawn is a big target. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take then rook H5, rook H8. And yeah, now it, this is my target. I guess you might play knight F3, H4. Ah, goes for this. Now rook F, F3, uh-huh. Ninety-seven, and now if I just three, I play rook h3. So he better be careful with that. Mm -hmm. How do I win though? I need to try something like g5. Try to guess more, get more 
activity because now I had before on the H file and probably it won't be enough for win. Okay. Um Knight D six mm, I guess so. And if knight d4 rook g4 boom <laughs> will he go for it? Will he fall fell for that? Or no, that's the interesting point I think. And my plan is currently, I guess, f5 and a knight to e4 to put my knight to e4. I guess e4 is a better place than f5. Okay, he doesn't fall for knight g4. <laughs> All right, f5. Um, knight e4. Mm. I'll go, rook g2 takes, and then g5 is interesting. Ooh, okay. I'm not really sure about this. I have that. g5, g4 is the idea. Yeah. Um, I mean, g5, g4, he cannot go for knight f4. Maybe it's a mistake. We'll see. But how will he prevent this? And then I have rook h3. I guess he's completely lost, and I guess I'm completely winning then. Um, so this Yeah, that's a win. Nice. Nice. Then H2. He can't stop me. He cannot stop me. Nice game. And on the reason what Remuli says Almus Safes, he's from Spain. Good game, Smilio. Thanks, Smilio. Pigenio. Bada boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. Bada boom, bio. Bam, bam. What was this? I don't know. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So d4, I mean, from the opening, I think it was pretty good for each, for both. This was already a weird move. He, d yeah, just knight bd2, then bishop d6, this, this, castle, 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 I think, castle, rook e1, rook, a, rook a c8, rook f8, position is equal. All right, bishop g6, this, this, knight, this is a blunder. Knight b2 after move. Blonde. Blonde. Ring a pawn. After. Bada boom. Bada boom, I say. And boom. -boom. After knight g4. Best move. Okay. Let's go to the puzzles. And let's try to solve six correct puzzles. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, bo -bo 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 -bo. <laughs> well, uh, let's think. First of all, I think it's important in this puzzle B4. <laughs> it was, I guess it was important, but not now. Wait, I thought B4, 84, 26. Ouch, that isn't nice. <laughs> Oopsie. This is, ah, G5 and then B4. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. I see. To be honest, it was interesting puzzle. Didn't manage to solve it correct. Uh, I mean, I just go here. This can g8. Queen a8. King h7. These. <laughs> no, I mean, okay, I cannot run forever, I guess. So, these, these. He has to play bishop e7 first. King g7. Wait, I mean g3, king g8, because king g7 has yes, bishop f6, not sure though, maybe, I don't know, um, so king g8, this, king h7, he takes this bishop f6, so maybe actually king g7 and then uh, after this, king f6, this king g5 works, yeah, king g5. King G5 was an important move, I guess. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Right. Uh, 
You need c3 seems pretty right. I mean, b because bishop c3, b takes c8, and c8 is in. So let's go for knight c3, and it's wrong. No, it is, it is right. All right. <laughs> it is right, all right. This, d takes c, I can go for g6. Probably I can handle this position to win. I don't know, though. I can go for g6. Ooh, that's actually a spicy one where every, almost every single piece hangs. So that's extremely hard to create something. And, 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 and. I think that, I guess it's wrong. Probably it is, but g6. It's pending plus one. Bishop c4 was right. And g6. And then knight e4. Ah, okay. I had it. I, <laughs> I, I had it in my mind. I don't know why I didn't want to make it to play it. And okay. Here we go. So, rook e2, rook, uh, rook c2, this. Bishop d3. Now, bishop f1. I mean, c6 is there. That, 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 c6, king six, this. Ah, c6, I have to stop, I guess, so maybe this, king d1, and then c6, don't know, though. I mean, I have to give a check now, for sure, rook c3, c6, rook a3, c takes b. How do I stop the pawn? I guess c6. Is this rook c3? Really? Ah, oh, rook d3, rook d8. <laughs> All right, let's try to rush less. I don't know why, but I was rushing, I think. And let's try to think. Um, I don't like knight e4 here because it's d4. It's a fork. They don't really have much. Queen f6, you can just go for rook d4. d takes c, I think, or... Yeah. Um, bishop e4, same story. I think it's bishop f2, king f2, knight e4, rook e4, bishop e4. Then something like queen h2, queen f4 is interesting. Queen a1 is a threat. Um, I guess it's wrong. But okay, this, and now bishop e4 or knight e4 is interesting. Don't know what to choose so far. Maybe I'll choose knight, because it's a check. Usually you la you want to give a check. Um, uh, don't know about it though, but I guess knight is my solution, it's, it's right. Okay, bishop, and then... Then oh, queen h2, king e3, bishop c2, something like this. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Oi! Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> what is this? What a wild puzzle. c3 seems like my first intuitional move because, I mean, it's a wild puzzle and if you don't try to mate, you're getting mated, I think. b3 is another interesting move. I get to my mind. Queen a4 is interesting, but I guess it's still a little bit too slow. So I guess it's between c3 or b3, at least in my head. So, c3, what is the idea after c3? I actually don't know. Maybe just to play c takes b and try to do something there. I actually don't know. b3, same story. Maybe b3 is just, I don't know, let's say a bit more aggressive i like b3 more it seems that i create some direct threat and b3 is wrong but this was right and that c takes b actually queen d3 yeah of course queen d3 and there's absolutely no talk about mate ah yeah 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 all right <laughs> Queen F3 and then like G4 is interesting. I mean, um, it's two little pieces on the board, so I guess it's really hard to create something. I mean, my move is this, this, 91, he takes queen e7, this, 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 queen 6, f3, queen 8, and this, that. 
I didn't see anything else. So I might go for it. And knight h2. And then queen d7, I think. Queen e7, excuse me. What? Is this? King f8, king e8. Ah, I, 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 I just don't get it. Queen d4. Whoa, 2955 I failed. Okay, okay, need to solve better. G5, B8, G4, King G3, Rook here, this. Knight G6, can hear that. G5, H3, is I guess important move. H5, B8, this. Wait, I mean, basically I guess G5 just... Oh, wow, I'm rushing so much. Oh, wow. Well. Uh, why not h5? h5 b8 g ah king g3 sneaky I just calculate h6 g only mm. alright let's try to think <laughs> I don't know how Okay, so nice. All right, this rook here, king e8. King e8, I don't like just because of rook h7. And then I don't know how to protect. And if rook f4 is like king e6, I have to give a check king f6, rook e2, g6, and it's almost impossible to run. So I guess king g8. Now if king f8, then yes, again, rook f7. So let's go king h8. Now if I go for h1, rook e8, king h7, he forces a draw. And I guess rook g5 makes the work done. And then h1, and yeah. Oh, yo, yo, six failed three right. That's been rough so far. Ooh, I guess I somewhat had it, but I'm still gonna think. It'll try to not rush. I'm 99% sure I had it. Uh, but I don't remember the solution actually, so I'll think. Um, hmm. I mean, it seems. Like intuition says this, knight v8. Oh, oopsie. Ah, what am I clicking? Okay, knight b8, knight d5. So, idea to take. And if bishop b5, I think, knight e7, king d7, knight d5, this is the threat. And uh, basically, I just want to say that I like this. Then knight d5. And if rook e7, rook d5, rook e8, this. So, no. I think that works. Yes. Ooh, an endgame one. Ooh, la nah, nah. Ooh, la. Nah. Ooh, what? What did I set? I don't know. Let's keep this. <laughs> ooh, la nah, nah. Ooh, la nah, nah. I don't know what I said. <laughs> All right. My b6 gets to my mind just really quickly with the idea of a7 and promoting. And d -d 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 -d. I don't know. How can he stop me? I mean, my b6 probably rook f4 is the only move he can try. I mean, I just go king e2, rook e4, king f1. Um, yeah, I guess this is the puzzle where I basically just don't see what opening threats Ah, it was wrong. Wait, I, I basically just don't, don't feel, I basically just didn't feel this position. Why not knight b6? Um, oh, it's some study, okay, knight b6. Ah, I just didn't see this. Oh, yo, yo, yo. An end game and a rook end game puzzle. So I guess rook e2 seems correct because if, for example, rook here just b takes c, c takes b, he has rook b3, rook a2, king g1. So I don't think it's good. Rook a2, rook e2, c takes b, then rook e2, b2. Seems good. This king e1, f rook h2, b takes c. Um, rook a2, rook e4, this, I mean, basically it's winning. Now, if I go for this, he has b takes c, rook a2, and then he has king g1. So I'm thinking of something like rook a3, and then c takes b. Yes, and then rook b3, I mean, pawn is closer to him, so he can just go like for king f2. And I don't really want it. 
so I'm not sure why but I mean C takes B feels more natural at least so yeah because pawn is more yeah let's say f f far away it's a little bit far away than other ones so something like this yeah can get the right word though um, so well basically Queen H8 Queen H6 are almost the same I don't like Queen H6 because he has Queen G7, Rook F6, King G8. I like this because King F7, Rook F6 check check this this mate. Queen H8, King E7. Then I might go for Queen F6. He has to go for King D7 and Queen G7, King D6. And then how do I win? That's <laughs> a question. Question marker. <laughs> Yeah, seems like a question mark. Huh. Rook f6 is pretty nature looking also, but to be honest, I don't know why I didn't consider it yet. So, oh, 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 oh. It's rook f6, and then basically I just sacrifice and skewer. All right, three six right and three seven fail. A lot of fail though. I don't know. I just <laughs> didn't get it. <sighs> All right, blindfold chess. Yes, let's go here. Uh, this TV bow, computer, real time ten minutes. Let's go. White pieces. Well, Stockfish actually makes some equally show opening. Oh, okay. At least he gives a pawn from the beginning. It's always nice <laughs> to have a pawn from the beginning, I guess. So let's try knight f3, uh, bishop b5. I'm mostly against Scandinavia and this line where opponent is giving away the pawn I go for this. I guess I never went for bishop c6 before and I think it might be ro wrong idea. Let's go for d3, trying to play knight c3 and somewhat like finish my developments and castle rook e1. Uh -huh. That's an interesting point. Here I was planning to castle and try to win a pawn because if I took then he has queen g2 and eh, not, not dream stuff. All right, um, d4 is possible but I don't like it. Let's go for knight c3. Bishop d2. Um, queen e2. I like a3. If he takes, I take. Yes, knight d5. Basically, it's, I had to take with the pawn, maybe. Because, yeah, basically, he's just having a <laughs> pretty decent knight. Um, yeah, pretty decent. Great knight, to be honest. I had to take with pawn knight d5 and play c4. <sighs> can I do now? I mean, I'm thinking just... I wish he will not play knight f4 though. I hope he won't. I would like to give a pawn, um, but I'm not sure if he'll take this. Yes, he wants knight f4. So I guess I need to go for this. Mm, I need to take this pawn. <sighs> I mean, knight e1, queen b2, so let's go for rook fd1. That's rough position. It's really rough. Ah, and knight f4. <laughs> wow, oh, he doesn't go at least. Okay, <laughs> I just want to say, what a beautiful play. <laughs> he won knight f4. They could let him play knight f4, be a pawn up. <laughs> there, <laughs> he allowed him and knight f4. And there was like one or, at, or even two pawns down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice job. Yeah, that's pretty rough. I had to take... With b takes c, I think, and now it's pretty lost, I think. I'll try. But now now knight f4, I think he can go, even though I have knight g4 there. It's pretty lost here. Knight g4. Knight e2, I'll take. Ah, will I? Ah, that's rough game. Oof, that's pretty. Ouch game. Knight 
Ouch. Two points down. I allowed him almost everything he would ever want. And yeah, that's completely lost. Okay, I should play knight f4. Ooh, that wasn't a good game at all for me. I got again I got a good chance from the opening he gave away uh, he gave away a pawn. But I used this pawn really not clever. I had to take b take c even though I have these double pawns, even though I have them. They are not always nice. Uh, my bishop is there and this c2 pawn was under a pretty good shield. So, and now it's completely lost. I may piece down. Yeah, it's rough. <laughs> At least no trade for now. Ah, uh, yeah, it's bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad for me. What can I say? Good game. From open end and really not good game for me. Not good game for me at all. G5. Mm, okay, H3. I mean, I'm trying to stalemate. <laughs> Not sure if it will help. I mean, rook G3. It's a rook trade. Yeah. I don't remember where are his pawns, but I'm re I, I understand and I remember that he'll manage to promote all of these pawns because, yeah, he's three pawns up. <laughs> I guess now it's tougher for him to not win than to win. And yeah, mate and the Lord game stock share level 7. Good game. To be honest, as I already mentioned, it was really not a good one for me. 40, 50 moves. 50 moves. Okay. Good game. That was a rough one. Um, what can I say? I think my big mistake. I thought he has pawn here. I think my huge mistake was that b takes c is needed, even though maybe I'm not better. Ah, bishop b4 to attack the rook, and rook a c1 is not that bad. Bishop d2 was really bad move. I even could go for this. Knight f4 is not that bad. Right, so three next, three mis four next, then second one, I said, over race, and boss for me, and three nil nil, 14 over race, and boss for him. So bishop d2 was c, blunder this, rook f, e8, and maybe I'm not better, maybe I'm not winning, but it's nice, because here, I'm just two points down, my king side is really not good, and yeah, then it's queen trade, and the rest was just a realization part. All right, at least let's try to win from first try again. Sixth level and black, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, and yeah. All right, it's not the main, no, not the main line. All right, knight c6. Bishop g4. All right. Uh, so yeah. Stockfish in this game he played pretty passive. They didn't get anything so far, as it seems. I I cannot say that I got much either, but at least I have more space and I like my position more because he moved this bishop twice in a row. Twice he moved it twice also. But I was moving because if I didn't move the bishop, I would just be a bishop down. Of course, it's not nice to move same piece twice, especially, in, I mean, in the opening. Because, I mean, at the end, you'll sooner or later get the point that if you don't move pieces, I mean, you can just make 16 moves if you move pa all pawn and all, p all pawns and all pieces only once. So at some point you'll get at some point you'll get a point. It's weird, but okay, you'll get a point that you have to move pieces more, same piece more times. But it's not really recommended to do in the opening because yeah, in the opening you are just developing, and in the opening you should um, 
try to develop as much pieces as possible but when you develop one piece like when you move one piece for I don't know three five times in the opening I mean <laughs> this piece is pretty active and but what do you let's say what your other pieces do you have just one piece but there are eight pieces and eight pawns so you have one good piece <laughs> but I mean it's better to have I think even though this piece what you move 10,000 times can be bad at some point and what is better to have all pieces let's say not all pawns because pawns are sometimes better to leave as king guards um yes yeah, so it's better to have a yes it's better to have all pieces but to at least move once maybe twice in the opening of course then to have like two pieces who moved once and one piece who moved five times it's developed but i mean what do you get from this extremely low development of one piece of course there are some openings where where you have to move your piece otherwise you lose it but let's say first it's rare cases and second you move piece there not because you want it because if you don't move it you just lose it so I mean there it's better to to move it ha ah, got pretty good position but I didn't like this e4 and now position is really closed and he has the knight and the knight as we all know in closed positions is better so I'll try maybe to I don't know I mean c5 h6 f rook g8 so let's try maybe c5 c4 I guess I need to create oof 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 that's rough <laughs> I mean, look at just look at my position yes all pieces are good and I don't have I have lack of space and lack of space not that I have too much and I don't know where to put it I don't have any space I'm thinking of g6 these these rook h1 can hear and try to run takes g6 Ooh, I guess I need to try to open my position. Maybe I lose this game, but I need to risk because if I just stay, it's just like yeah, it's completely winning. Right, king g7. Try to run. If rook g1, then g5. I guess. All right, I guess here I also will go for g5 with some rook h8. I mean, here at least one open file we have on the board. So I at least can try to create some counterplay. Um, and the other pl mini plus, <laughs> mini plus, that all pawns are on dark square. I mean, at the same time, if he gets to all dark squares, it's bad. Because, okay, let's play rook h4. I create something. We'll see who will know at the end. <laughs> Okay, king g2 is this idea. So I'll go for queen g8, queen h7, rook h2, rook h1, I guess. La la la. Queen h7, that seems like I have some counterplay. Wait, what is he doing? Yes, he has pawn on e4, right? He does. <laughs> because I was thinking to play queen f5, and I just wanted to make sure that I don't lose a queen. Alright, yeah. Mm. So I think I'll go for rook f4, and then. Queen h4, trying to attack on e4. Uh -huh. Of course, yeah. I can stay here for really long. <laughs> Just for a move. Better than nothing. My pawn, my pawn. Ouch, that hurts. Oof. I <laughs> told you, if he gets one pawn, it's rough. Oof. Oh, I better didn't go for rook f4. Oh, I played this game really bad. Wow. <laughs> I mean, still I have some chances, but they are 0 0.0.0. 0 .0. Almost 0, 0.0. Right, king h6, trying bishop b4, I'm trying something. It's hard. I mean, queen of 7 still possible. But to win this game, I need to get extremely, extremely lucky. Try to win a pawn here, at least. Wait, I can't take it. 
rook e4, but then queen f3, my queen is pinned, and if queen e4, queen e4, then c5, it's rough. And he takes it, and Pathan, but then he has rook d6. And what do I get from this? I don't know. Ah. Huh? Oh, I did something bad here. <laughs> yeah, I think this really important pawn. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe Bishop B4 tries to get into his camp and Bishop C3. Uh -huh, Rook C3. I mean, Queen B3 wants a Rook trait. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can try d3 to throw, but then these. I guess maybe it's not the only way, but one of the only ways that if you go for rook h5, otherwise position is too open and his queen will just eat me there. Maybe it is not the right word, but yeah. Oh, no, let's say shortly it won't be really good for me. It's not great here either, but I have counterplay. I'll go for queen b2 with some bishop e1 is the idea. And queen c1, queen here. Seems interesting. So I'm gonna think maybe I can create, maybe I can come up with some ideas. Um, bishop e1. I mean, yes, rook h3 probably is the idea now. Bishop e1. I guess if queen c1, then yes, rook h3, so I have to go for this. Queen f1, I have bishop here. Queen f2, rook h2. Um, I mean, I understand, but I'm going to go for this risk. Rook h2. Did I just blunder? Queen f2. I don't know. Um, I mean, queen here, king here, queen e1, queen e4. Seems like an interesting plan. And if I go this, this, queen e4, then mate on h2. So let's try to give a check, then this, and then queen e4. Queen e4, so queen f5 is the idea. Ooh, I feel the power. All right, I'll go for d3. Well, I guess that's a win. Um, I still won't take it easy, let's say. Um, but I'm gonna say, I guess it's true, um, that I literally escaped from this. I was completely lost. It was just, yeah, I don't know, I had no chances at all. But I got extremely lucky. I tried, you see, never give up rule worked. I tried to create counterplay. And it turned out that I won the game from how I thought completely lost. And made an Wonder Game Stock Shell L6. That was wild game. My kid was so bad. How did I win that? <laughs> wow. I'm surprised in myself, though. Um, yeah, I mean, here I was completely winning. Uh, it was much worse. He was completely winning. Ah, rook g4, I mean, true. I'd have to find this and here still. Yeah, I'm winning. But still, he's, he's putting pressure. Because my king is, if I move, whoops, if, if I just, like, he makes a move. I mean, yeah, here is draw, but if I move my king, then it's mate, so my king cannot move, so it's rough. 9x, 6 mis 3 mistakes, 6 blunders, 53 over 8 tenables for him, and 7x, 5 mistakes, 4 blunders, 41 over 8 tenables for me. Yeah, e5 with c4 ideas. Right, then maybe it's queen e7. Mm -hmm. Bishop c7, or c5. None of them are good. Knight of 5 is good. Um, e4 is good also, takes, knight b2, g6, yeah, takes is good, yeah, here maybe I could just put a block, here I was actually better, I felt it, but I didn't really use it, let's say, maybe g4, ah, queen a6, ah, queen a8, and if f3 is then queen h8, so I'm just bouncing around, and then rook h1, yeah. So here I'm a pawn down, but, but position is still not lost. Maybe bishop b4? Ah, no. Okay, queen h5, queen trade? Yeah, okay. 
Then bishop c3 was a blunder. Guess I allowed c5. Queen c6? And queen e4 is good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is it really good? I mean, rook h3 is this and takes. Ah! Good old friend's punch bob. I catch him. And this, this, d2, he goes for this, this, and yeah, he cannot catch me. Ah, oh, good friend's punch bob. Hello. All right, so yeah, queen f3 and then knight d2. He has like queen g3. And maybe, 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 maybe rook g1. I mean, if takes g, I would like to. If I was him, I would like to trade, but Sockfish doesn't say that it's good. Alright, maybe I would try to move from knight to d3, yeah? Then knight d2, maybe. Um, queen d3, queen f3 is interesting. Yeah, queen f3 is right. Here, poof, king g2, try to trade off rook. There I saw c5. Here he was plus 4. And and then, yeah, he made a move and it was sequel. Mm, let's think what move could it be. c5 again, yes. And here it was draw, but after rook g3 he blown his bishop e1 and he's lost. I mean, still push? No, it's lost. Queen f1, queen d1, queen d1. And if d3 here, rook g3 only move. Alright, that's a miracle save from me, I guess. So, yeah, I'll finish the stream. Want to announce once more tomorrow around 20 30 key of time will be seven. I mean, around maybe it will be a 20 key of time. 21, yeah, I guess not later, not later than 20 30 will be 7,000 followers arena. So I'm waiting for you there. And yeah, so I hope you liked the stream. If you did, please share your chest, please share your members. I want to thank you very, very much. I want to thank you for members. I want to thank you for members. I want to thank you for happy. And also, please share my club members. Come to the club members. My club is 149 members. Thank you very, very much. So 51 members. I want to thank you 200 members. I want to thank you for very happy. And thank you for following on chess on Twitch in the channel. Please add on and subscribe to this channel. Please share your chess on chess. Please comment also. Please share this. Please subscribe. Yeah. Bye bye. Come back. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have fun. See you tomorrow. See you.